I joined the Royal Australian Navy in February 1940 at the age of 16 and a half, direct from high school. Coral Sea, of course, was a very significant event in the life of our ships. Um, we sailed to join the American Task Force 17, which uh, Admiral Nimitz, the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet, was assembling to stop the Japanese intended invasion of the Coral Sea area, including eastern Papua New Guinea and Port Moresby. Radio intelligence had uh, intercepted much of the naval traffic from the Japanese Navy, and they spent long hours uh, trying to decipher the coded messages, and they were able to predict what the Japanese intentions were and they were really very significant and a very serious threat to our own security in Australia. Had they not been stopped and gone on, it does uh, raise an interesting question as to what might have happened. We sailed to join the force which had been assembled under Admiral Jack Fletcher and uh, that was quite a an interesting day to uh, see these American ships and it was a pretty formidable force. There were a lot of ships involved and we sailed to Jomad Passage area and that is where it was expected that a Japanese invasion force heading for Port Moresby would come through to get into the Coral Sea and turn west and go to Port Moresby. That force was substantial and they were escorting 6,000 uh, Japanese troops for the landing. We arrived uh, at the, uh, the area and immediately we would, were vigorously attacked by the Japanese aircraft, high level bombing, torpedo attacks, etc. The American carriers, Lexington and Yorktown, uh, with Fletcher, were about 350 kilometres uh, east, southeast of uh, where we were. But their aircraft did attack the Japanese ships coming through this area where we were to block them, and they succeeded in sinking the Japanese uh, uh, light carrier Shoho. The end result after Shoho was sunk was that the Japanese turned around and they withdrew from that action. The Japanese also suffered very heavy losses in experienced air crew and that was to be a problem for Japan for a very long time. So that really was the how that battle took place and the participants virtually in two separate sections, but we did succeed in turning them around. Um, had we not staged Coral Sea, and in my book, uh, there's no question that it was a resounding victory against the Japanese. I thought Winston Churchill uh, said the right thing when he was told about the action and what happened. He said, well, if that wasn't a victory to the Allied vessels, he said, the bar is set too high. <laughs>